in this experiment we are going to perform uh, uh, is to uh, we have to determine the Q point and the voltage gain of a common emitter bipolar junction transistor amplifier circuit uh, for different values of VCC and hence to find the maximum value of the input signal required to operate the amplifier in the linear region so the two two three things we have to do in this thing we have to find the Q point and uh, for this we need an amplifier circuit and this is my amplifier circuit board and which exactly correspond to this circuit I will talk about later and then we need a power supply and this is our power supply DC power supply and then we have uh, need a multimeter and then we have uh, a multimeter here and then we need an audio frequency oscillator we have an audio frequency oscillator here and the AC millivolt meter and this is a AC millivolt meter okay so now let us look at the circuit we have an input terminal here so we have an input terminal here then we have a capacitor we have a capacitor and then we have two resistance here then we have two resistance here and then we have resistance two resistance and then our transistor then we have two resistance and then we have our transistor base collector emitter then again we have a resistance here then we have a capacitance and then the output is there capacitance and then we output is there plus VCC and then minus VCC grounded so we have minus VCC grounded plus VCC is there so this is the RC couple resistance and the capacitance we have an RC couple part of the circuit is this so this circuit exactly matches with the circuit amplifier circuit which we need for this particular uh, experiment so uh, the first observation table uh, for, uh, uh, is uh, is you can see is we need to have a VCC that is our plus VCC and minus VCC which we will provide from uh, the DC power supply so we'll provide this 6 volt 9 volt 12 volt and 15 volt and then we will corresponding measure the VCE VCE that means the voltage drop drop, drop across the collector and emitter and then the VRC which is the voltage drop across this resistance the resistance which is attached with uh, uh, he attached here and then we will calculate IC which is VRC upon the RC so the RC is uh, RC is of RC value of RC is 1 kilo kilo ohm so this is uh, similarly uh, this is equal to uh, the VRC okay so the first table uh, we had to calculate is uh, like this let us uh, make arrangement for the circuit so we have to supply the plus VCC and minus VCC so we will take the positive part plus VCC to this positive and the negative part of this to the minus VCC okay then so so now for these terminals we have to uh, give 6 volt so I have already uh, given to the 6 volt to this plus VCC and minus VCC and then we have to measure the VRC okay or let's see VCE so for this we will use the multimeter so, so multimeter again we have two terminals this common and the voltage measuring terminal so the common will go to this black path emitter and then uh, this red one will go to VCE because we have to measure the voltage across VCE so now you can see that uh, the voltage across VCE is 3.95 okay when I am supplying VCC is 6 volt so when we have a 6 volt the VCE is uh, 3.9 volt huh? so we write 3.95 volt and then we have to measure the VRC so measure the VRC so we'll uh, put this across the VRC these two terminals across the VRC and that that is is 1.7 this is uh, 1.73 so we'll note it down VRC 1.73 now we'll make 6 to 9 volts so we'll make 6 to 9 volt. 
okay so it's a 9 volt and then we'll again measure the vce and vrc so already we have vrc is there so vrc is 3.84 so we we'll write vrc 3.84 now i have to measure the vce so with the vce i'll again put my plug in to across the vce and then vce you can see is 4.62 so now I light VCE 4.62 and similarly we have to do it for 12 volt and 50 volt by wiring 6, 9, 12 and 15 volt. So this is the first part and the other is the calculation. Now let us uh, uh, move to the second part of uh, the observation. In the second part of the observation what we have to do is uh, we, have to, uh, a, we have to apply the input frequency, the input uh, and for that we have to have a uh, in from the audio uh, frequency generator we had to fix uh, the frequency to the 5 kilohertz so input frequency of a oscillator we have to put equal to the 5 kilohertz uh, with the help of this knob I can change the frequency range so putting 5 kilohertz frequency and then the output of this is like what we have is this and I'll put it here this input the positive to the positive part and this negative to the negative part. So here I have supplied uh, input uh, signal whose frequency is uh, five kilohertz. Okay, and this is this is the sine wave frequency. Now what I have to do is like I have to fix the input. So so what I have to do is now I have to vary the input. Before varying the input, I have to put the VCC plus six volt. So VCC which I applied plus VCC and minus VCC from here DC supply we had to put it to 6 volt. Okay. So now this is my 6 volt plus VCC and minus VCC is 6 volt. So this is plus VCC is 6 volt. Now I have to supply the input voltage in mini volt. So to supply the input voltage I'll read the input voltage. I will use the AC millivolt meter, and uh, these are its ranges. Okay, so so this this is it has two terminals. This is red and blue. This is the ground one, and this is uh, the positive part. So the ground one, I, I'll I'll make it to the ground, and I have to fix the input. So to read the input, I have to use this because I have supplied the I'm supplying the input. Uh, uh, at these terminals so of 5 kilohertz so I'll make the fix the amplitude okay so the ground uh, is here because all this is grounded and the positive part I'll put here and then I have to I have to fix this to 10 10 millivolt 20 millivolt 30 millivolt so on so uh, so this is my millivolt range I put this to millivolt range and with the help of this knob I can fix 10, 20, 30. Now you can see that. This is 10. I'll make it 40. So first I am putting it to 10 millivolt. Okay. Okay. So what I am supplying is here is the input signal of 10 millivolt and frequency of 5 kilohertz. Okay. Now I have to find the output. So to, to measure the output, I'll just simply take this out and put in the output terminal okay so the output is out of the range of millivolts so I'll make it to the change the range to millivolt to volt now the output is 4.46 or 0.59 volt so what I have to do is like 10 millivolt of input the output is uh, 0.456 volt so I'll put it down 0.456 volt similarly now I'll change this is to 20 volts now I, I can also do one thing that because the 10 millivolt is fixed and uh, and I can change 6 to 9 and to 12 then I'll, I'll make it 9, 9 volt. So make it 9 volt. So the, for the 9 volt the output is 0 0.704. So the, for the same 10 millivolt input this is 0 0.46 and the, for the 9 volt for the same 10 millivolt the output will be 0.699 and for the 12 volt I can also make it 9 to 12 and then we note down the output I'll make 9 to 12 
because everything input is same so this is 0.852 so now I'll write here 852 okay fine now I'll make it the in change the input from 10 to 20 so to read the input I'll again take this here and I'll put it to the input voltage and now I'll, I'll make it from 10 to 20 So this is 20 now so now I'll make it uh, I have made it 20 and plus VCC is right now is 12 so which is 12 so uh, I'll, I'll try to make what is the output from here I'll put it here in the output and then I'll change the range so output is 1.894 for what for 12 volt plus VCC so for 12 volt VCC and 20 I'll light the output and I'll do it I'll make a changes from 12 to 9 and then I'll note this is 1.595 and in the and here I'll write for 20 I'll write the output and similarly I'll make it for 6 and I'll write the output so in the same way I'll go to like changing 10 to 100 millivolt and try to uh, note down the output voltage then what I have to calculate, I have to calculate the voltage gain. Similarly, V naught by V in here for all these three cases. Okay. Once we do this, uh, then we are free to plot uh, all the observations I have. And now I can plot these things. Okay. Now, the first thing is V naught V in because I, I have already calculated V naught input voltage and output voltage so first we had to plot the v naught and v in and the second we had to plot the input voltage and the gain which we have calculated so gain which we are calculating here first v naught v in plot and then we have to plot the v input and the voltage gain and that is uh, my v input and the second one is v input and the voltage gain and third one is is, this is the gain and the vcc because vcc is like 6 9 and 12 so we have to plot the gain for all these so for 6 I have to plot the gain and for 12 and 9 and 12 we have to plot the gain and uh, for this VCC 6 9 and 4 okay so these are the observations which you have to calculate and then uh, we'll make to final uh, uh, result table so oh, when we plot this uh, so uh, the plots looks like this between the v naught and v in and between uh, the voltage gain a v and v input so final result is you can write it like for vcc 6 9 and 12 so the q point is what vce and ic you get here because in the first observation table you have calculated the VCE and then ICE so you have to write it down VCE and IC and then you have to calculate the maximum value of V in for operation of the amplifier in the linear region so this you can calculate from here this graph and you plot the voltage gain and input voltage so you can see there is linear region so for, for this particular case you'll draw this linear region ends here so this will be the maximum uh, input voltage for the operating and for this case uh, for VCE 6 volt for VC, VCC 9 volt so linear region ends here so this will correspond to the 30 volt and for similarly for 12 volt so this is also this is also corresponding to 30 volts so from here for this region you can note it down uh, the maximum value of v input for the operation on the amplifier and the linear region because we have to see the maximum value of v input so this is the v input for the different vcc values the voltage gain is linear where the voltage gain is linear okay so this is all about uh, the q point finding of the q point and the finding of the maximum value of v input for the operation of the amplifier in this linear region thank you